In this question, we are going to figure out the hydrostatic force that's acting on this triangular plate when we put this vertically into the water. And as we can see, here we have 3 feet, 4 feet, and it is 1 feet underneath the water. Whenever we are putting anything vertically into the water, such as this one, we have to use integration. And the reason is because pressure. Because when you are down here, the pressure will be bigger compared to the pressure up here. And the connection between pressure and force is this. Pressure is equal to force divided by area. But in this question, it's asking us to find the hydrostatic force. So we can look at this equation as force is equal to pressure times area. And for the pressure, as I said, it depends on distance, how far down we are underneath the water. And then we also have to multiply by the density of the water. Well, in this case, we're using water, but then maybe later on you're talking about gasoline or like uh, some other liquid, you may have to multiply by different constants. And it also depends on the units that we're using. Here we're using feet, so we are going to use 62.5 in a minute. But this is just a constant part that's usually pretty straightforward. The area is the part that depends on our labeling. Then let's get to work on that. To figure out the area, what we do is, as usual, let's just kind of consider um, a slice like that, a rectangular slice. And I would like to label this as dy because this right here is a small amount of change in the y value. And I'll label this right here to be x, the horizontal distance. And my first goal is figure out a formula for this area of the rectangle. I can just put down x times dy, but then we are going to use integration. So we are going to write x in terms of y. We need the connection x in terms of y. How can we make that happen? Unfortunately, the x always changes, so we really have to use equation. But then to do this is not that bad because it um, depends on the reference frame, but I would like to do it this way. I would like to put this right here as my x-axis, and then this right here to be my y-axis. And depends on your, on your reference frame. This is a pretty um, straightforward way. And the reason for that, it's pretty straightforward, is because I put the origin right here on the top of the triangle, on the tip of the triangle right here. And now I just have to consider this line. And my goal is to figure out an equation for that line. I know the y test set will be 0 because I make that to be 0, right? So the equation of this line, I just have to figure out the slope. y is equal to mx plus 0. So let's write down y. And what's the slope? Slope is the change in y value divided by the change in x value. You see, we go up 3, un 3 feet and we go to the right 4 feet. So it will be 3 over 4. That's the slope. Y is equal to 3 over 4x. That's it. But then for the x, I have to isolate the x from this equation. In another word, x will be 4 over 3y. Isn't it? And that's all I need. The area of this rectangle will be x, which is 4 over 3y, times dy. And that pretty much take care of the area part. And now we have to, let's look at the density part. It's water and this is also feet. So we are going to use 62.5. So let's multiply this by 62.5. So far, so good. Now the next part is the distance. How far down we are underneath the water, depending on this rectangle right here. Well, slightly more labeling. Based on the labeling, this right here will be the y distance, right? The y for you right here. And then from here to here is 1, and from here to here was 3. Okay? So you can see the whole thing, well, it's 4, and then this right here all together will be just 4 minus y, if you want to do it like that. But then if you want to do it like with two steps, this right here, if you just look at the triangle, okay? If you just look at the triangle, the whole thing right here for the triangle is 3, and this much right here is y, so this right here will be 3 minus y, no problem on that. But then to consider the entire thing, let me just put it down from here to here. This much is 3 plus y, I mean 3 minus y, and then we have to add one more to it. 
So all this will be 4 minus y. Okay, so this right here is a distance that we are going to use, 4 minus y. So I'm going to multiply this by 4 minus y. Which is, you just have to do some geometry on that. Okay, and then we are going to integrate it, and based on the labeling, we start with 0 for the y value, and then we go up to here when the y value is equal to 3. So we end at 3. And this will give us the force, hydrostatic force that's acting on this uh, triangular plate. And if you work this out, the answer will be 750 pounds. And this right here is the answer. That's it.